What's up guys? I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit this color graded shape mask transition in Final Cut Pro. Okay, so here we are in our timeline in Final Cut Pro. So I got the inspiration for this idea from Brian Francisco. He is an incredible YouTuber. I've learned so much from him. So I'm going to leave the link to his channel down below in the description. Make sure that you guys check him out. All right, so first thing I did was I added a gap to the timeline. You can do that at any moment by holding down Option W. So this is the gap right here. And I think they're very helpful. And for me, I knew it was going to be helpful as a guide as I edited this effect. Next thing I did was I added a marker to the song where the music really picks up pace. This is where I want the effect to come into full life. And I added a second marker to the song where I wanted the next clip to come into the timeline. All right, so we're going to grab our clip and drag it from the browser onto the timeline on top of the gap that we created. And I'm going to hold down shift control S to detach the audio from the clip. I don't need it. I'm going to erase it. And I'm going to select my clip, go to the retiming tool, and select automatic speed. I know I filmed this in 120 frames per second, so I really want that clip to be slow, to be cinematic. So now I'm going to trim it to the end of the gap. And at the beginning, I'm going to take it a little bit towards the beginning of the gap, but I'm going to leave a tiny bit of space right there. So that's perfect right there. And now we are going to color grade this clip real quickly. Okay, great. We have color graded the clip and now we are going to add the shape mask. So we can either hit command five or you can just head over and select the effects panel. And under masks, we're going to select shape mask and we're going to drag it onto our clip. Perfect. So this will open up the shape mask panel in the inspector right here. And I don't want feather for this transition. If you guys want to play around with that, feel free. So I'm going to punch in zero for the feather and also punch in zero for the curvature. You can also change the curvature of the mask with this little white dot. So feel free to mess around, but you won't need it for this effect. All right, so I want it to definitely be a bit skinnier, the mask. So I'm going to grab the top green little ball and I'm going to drag it down. Final Cut automatically adjusts the opposite end, which is really helpful. And I think around right there is perfect. We definitely need the width to be wider than the clip. So I'm going to drag the right little side ball and make sure that the mask is a little bit wider than the clip. Right there is perfect. Let's let it render. All right, brilliant. So we're going to grab the playhead and make sure that it is lined up with the beginning of our clip. So having it lined up, we're going to head back into the shape mask and under the inspector in the X positioning, we are going to punch in negative 2000. Okay, so this has moved our mask position towards the left, which is what we want. I want the mask to come in from the left, headed towards the right, but this is a little bit too much for me. So using the top arrow key, I'm going to bring the mask right before the clip starts. Right there is perfect. And I'm going to add a keyframe. Okay, awesome. So this tells Final Cut Pro that the mask at this point in the playhead needs to be at that position. So now I'm going to grab the playhead and bring it close to the first marker that I added on the song, which is that one right there. And that looks good right there. So right before the marker, I'm going to leave the playhead and I'm going to create our second keyframe for the position by typing zero on the X. So this brings the mask back right into the center, which is what we want. And so now it looks like this. Okay, that is perfect. That is exactly what we want. So now we are going to really bring the effect into life. I'm going to hit Control V on the clip to bring up the video animation. And I'm going to grab the playhead and line it up with the second keyframe that we created for the mask. I'm going to hit keyframe on the scale. And now I will drag the playhead, line it up with the first marker on the song. 
and I'm just going to drag the scale all the way up. So now the mask is covering our entire clip, which is what we want. And so now it looks like this. Perfect. So that's looking really nice. And so now we want to do the color graded part of the effect. So we're going to create an identical copy of our clip by holding down option and just dragging up. So that creates an identical copy. We're going to select the top clip, the copy that we just created. We're going to hide the mask and we're going to head into our color wheels. We're going to hit the drop down and add a correction. We're going to add a second color wheel. We are going to completely desaturate it. We're going to bring down the shadows just to add a bit more contrast. That's looking nice right there. Let's let it render. Perfect. And so now this is what the effect is going to look like. So it's completely black and white, which is not what we want, but we're getting there. So make sure, making sure that we have the top clip selected, we're going to hit control V again to open up the video animation. And we're going to open up this bottom tab right here called compositing opacity. So we're going to open up this tab and we're going to create two frames simply by holding down option and clicking on the line. All right, perfect. So basically this is telling Final Cut Pro that we're about to change the opacity of the top clip. Right now it's at 100%, but for the effect, the color grade to come in and look really nice. After the second keyframe, we're going to pull down on the line all the way to 0%. So it would look like this. All right, we are almost there. So as you can see, the color is coming back into the clip and it's aligning with the mask. It's looking really nice. The music, everything's looking good. So we're going to hit control V again because I want to tweak this just a little bit. I'm going to line up the playhead with the marker and I'm going to bring the keyframe just a little bit past the marker. And I want the effect to be more dramatic. So I'm going to bring the first keyframe close to the second keyframe. That's perfect for me right there. Let's let it render. And this is what the effect will finish looking like. So really, really happy with how that turned out. The color grading coming to life with the mask. It looks really sharp. And yeah, feel free to mess around with that. Feel free to mess around with the compositing, the opacity. Uh, obviously, depending on your song choice, it can be a bit slower, a bit faster. I decided to go for this effect with this song, Ganja by Ui. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I get all my music from Epidemic Sound. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the transition just allows you to have some creativity in your videos. If I can help in any way, please leave me a comment down below. I would be happy to connect with you. And yeah, keep believing in yourself, keep creating, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.